one hour and see if anybody joins, but never mind. I'm able to continue my little YouTube series on Hard West, so that's fine as well. I wonder where the last enemy is. Where is he? Well, never mind. There he is! Fuck! He's totally going to kill her. Well, he's intimidated, that's... It's something. She can't move there. They discovered a young woman, undoubtedly the author of the letter. Now, they only needed to cut the cipher piece from the clairvoyant's still warm corpse. And mission complete. Cassandra offered her help in bringing the order down. But first, she wished to collect her personal effects from the nearby village. Disloyalty when she refused to have a cipher piece embedded in her flesh. The fossil were sympathetic to her story, having heard Aisa's remarkably similar story. Cassandra complained of a sudden migraine. It had been a stressful time, she said, and this often happened to her in such cases. She held her hand like she was trying to keep the brain in and told Savantes she needed to lie down. Paris concurred they all needed a good night's sleep. Cervantes rented two rooms for the night and the party got some much needed. Shut eye. Cervantes wondered if sending Perez after Cassandra was the best course of action. Even so, he was not one to let go of a grudge. The clairvoyant had to die. He and Sister Rosa would have to do without Perez's protection from now on. Yeah, great. So uh, let's just send away our best gunman and let him hunt for some chick. That makes sense.
If he had completed a lot of money, he would accept among the white people. Oh great, yeah, let's just waste money again. Oh, never mind. Let's go there. I'm actually not able to kill them. That's weird. So right, let's go back to Smuggler's Cave. Okay. And a trade post. Okay. <laughs> From a pole. Yeah, that's great. I actually want to know the. I should the wear spot. Seriously. Oh, at least I have a new character now, so that's pretty good. I just wonder why I'm actually Not able to kill the guy who's here. I actually really wonder why there's so many cipher pieces just to show the location. And dead. All of this stuff is actually pretty easy and if, I, mean, I mean just right now I'm really skipping through this because uh, it's a little bit repetitive because we already did something like that before in this specific chapter. Normally all of the texts here, they are really great written and they're really nice to read, but uh, for the sake of this, I'm not really interested in reading through all of this simply because it's, yeah, go there, kill that guy. Submergent of Miracle Potions, but also one who could spot the true visionary. That he had been watching the Inquisitor and believed that by joining forces with him, he could gain more than just corporal corporate riches. He sought immortality. Savannah assured him he was making the right choice and accepted him into the posse. So, who's that guy now? Real weirdo. I should also wonder why. Game, don't bug out on me. What the fuck is that?
have no cannabis, that's already good enough. I think this man really needs a shotgun revolver and... Oh, why not? Scope custom rifle. Yeah, try to healing herbs. Take that. Take that. 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 And she's good to go with that. No. King, we have a queen, we have a nine, we have another queen. No, oh, come on, take this. Let's have a look at the wares. Interest what they have. <laughs> Not much interesting stuff. Okay. The final member of the order tried to resist, but eventually he confessed. It was the shaman. He lived in isolation west of the village. Those on board the Inquisitor gravely for the man's wield of formidable mystical powers. So. The tippy, as did the rest of the natives. His, however, was notably larger with intimidating decorations. So once the swore he left. He felt a force eliminating from within. Shaman would be expecting them. Someone is enraged, stabbed the man a dozen times, tore the cipher piece on, out of his chest. When he emerged from the tippy, Aiza was gone. But what did that matter? The last cipher piece was in his possession. It was time to pay Raum a visit. Then Delir. Okay, we lost another party member, that's a little bit sad. While calm during the earlier meetings, Raum was visibly agitated when Savantes returned to tell him the cipher was complete. Now they could use it to locate the sanctuary, acquire the meteor and kill Delia, its protector. For reasons only known to himself, the normally dexterous Raum tipped over his cauldron before he left the search for sanctuary. The sanctuary has become available. Question is, where? Where is it? <laughs> there. The magnificent villa was fortified and would require great force to capture. It didn't look like a hiding place for a mystical object, but according to the cipher, this was the fabled sanctuary Delia had, had built. They were certain Delia was there, this time without the protection of his clairvoyant. They did not mean that he wasn't still a force to be reckoned with. They were to make any last preparations? Now was the time. Just attack the damn thing. And look for him. Uh, heavy pepper box, okay. 